what's pop which is yo, it's your boy Carol. We are back with another Pokemon Sun and Moon Wi-Fi battle. This one I'm facing Saxy Jojo. It's an amazing freaking battle. We both have Golisopods and we both have Tapu Lele's on our team. The rest of my team is pretty unique. I like it. it's Lantern, Salamence with a Super Sonic Sky Strike. We have our lead Lycanroc and we have Serena. Serena's an amazing Pokemon. Definitely check out Serena and use Serena on your team. It's, I think it's a freaking fun Pokemon to use. My opponent's using a very unique team as well, using his own Golisopod. Freaking Delamize. I love Delamize. I love you seeing that thing being used. I want to use it myself. I don't have one yet, but I'm going to be using one. It looks so cool. He has Salazzle, P2, and Mega Absol. Very, very unique team. I like his team, and let's just jump right into this battle. It's 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 a good one. Just just hold up. Let's wait for this battle. Listening to some Ultra Beast music with Zaki Jojo doing the Jojo pose. Black with the red pink hair. I lead off with my Golisopod, so I figured if he leads off with Mega Absol, I can't get my Stealth Rocks up with Lycan Rock, so I'll lead off with this thing to beat Mega Absol as he leads off with his own Golisopod. Golisopod, the Golisopod. His was named Ultimate. My one just gonna use first impression. Leave that first impression on ya. Do about like 35-40% as he uses his own first impression. Those were roughly the same amount, so I'm assuming we're the same set. After I'm gonna use Leech Slurp, so maybe I have a little bit more speed, so I do outspeed him both these times. Get him down to pass the yellow, so I'm like, okay, emergency exit's gonna go off. Gonna be nice. I don't wanna have this thing and I don't wanna have to take another hit. Unfortunately, he is running the Citrus Berry, so that is going to put him above the emergency exit as he's gonna be able to use his own Leech Slurp. And as you've seen by the previous damage, it does seem like we are the same set, except that I'm not running Citrus Berry, I'm actually running Assault Fest. So unfortunately, emergency exit's gonna get me out of there. But I can switch into whatever I want. Guys, and then Rocco's Life. Go check out that cartoon. That was an amazing cartoon from my childhood. Rocco's Modern Life. I'm gonna get off my Stealth Rocks right now because he doesn't have a spinner on his team unless his Delamus is a spinner. And he definitely doesn't have a Defogger. So those rocks are there to stay as long as he doesn't get that spin off with Delamus. And I'm perfectly happy with that. Rocco's Modern Life gets down to one point of health. But I figure I might want to save this thing. So I'm gonna try to use the Assault Rock to get him above it or below 50%, get him to get Emergency Exit and get out of there. The reason why I did that is because one, he got easily off with to take me out there. Two, Lycan Rock's actually a pretty good matchup to his team because I get the super effective damage off against that Golisopod as plus the Stealth Rock damage. He has Salazzle, which I can do the exact same thing to that as well. So just it's just a nice Pokemon to have around for his team. So. I'm going to hard switch into Tapu Lele because I only have one HP left, so I was expecting a Sucker Punch. He can't have knockoff because it is pre-bank, and he can't have Super Power because it's pre-bank. So I was assuming, like, you know what? I don't think his Absol can really threaten Tapu Lele since it is pre-bank. So I'm assuming Sucker Punch is going to come out as he does Mega Evolve. Sucker Punch comes out, obviously failed because I switched in. Plus, like, the terrain is up, so even if I did attack, nothing was happening there. So he sends in the Don Don. The Don Don, the Don Don patch. <laughs> whoa, 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 That's a nice anime. Watch that, and you'll get the reference for the Don patch. But either way, Porygon Two's out. I'm gonna hit him up with a nice choice scarf, Moonblast. The modest nature does a sizable chunk of damage. He's he can definitely recover here, and I think that's definitely what he should do. So I do go for another Moonblast. Does a nice amount of damage. Leaves him with a tiny thing. Get a special attack drop. That doesn't matter. And he does though with the toxic. I'm not sure if that was the best play for him to make, because yes, well, getting chip damage off of Tapu Lele was very good for him, because Tapu Lele is a huge threat to his team. I'm not sure if it was worth sacking off the one big wall on his team, because right, if you remember his team, his team's actually pretty dang frail, because, I mean, Salazzle, um, Mega Absol, they're both very, very frail Pokemon. Delmas has nice like natural bulk but he doesn't have to be running a, a defensive set so I'm not sure if I would personally sack off Porygon 2 there because it's a very bulky Pokemon on his team and really the only thing that can switch into a hit from Tapu Lele so I would have switched out probably into Salazzle to get the recover off and threaten me out with a Sludge Bomb but either way he does go to Salazzle now I'm just going to fodder off my Lycanroc because I looked at my team I'm like my special walls are Glycopod, which I don't want to take any more damage. My Serena, which is weak to poison and weak to fire. And then I have John Lantern, but I didn't want to switch it into a Sludge Bomb because I could get poison because Sludge Bomb does have a 30% chance. Either way, John Lantern's out. 
best Pokemon in the world, John Lantern. Let's go. I predicted this switch, so like, you know what? No one's gonna stay in with their freaking Salazzle against a Lantern. Lantern can eat any of Salazzle's attacks and threaten it with the Skull. So I'm like, I'm gonna Volt Switch. I do get the critical hit. I'm not sure how much that crit really matters because I mean, it doesn't do too, too much. And I'm gonna send in my Meds Meat right now. I'm like, okay. So I don't think Delmise can actually hurt me too much. Anchor Shell will probably do half. So I can easily set up and use Super Sonic Sky Shot and probably sweep his team from here. But he's not having any of that. He's not going to let me set up and sweep his team with my Salamence. He is going to have Delmise surround itself with the Z Power. Look at that. Delmise is looking at you. Course Grew Crash. I've never seen this attack before. Except for this battle. Look at look at this shit. My, my poor Salamence. Look. Oh my god, Salamence. No! No, Salamence! No! <laughs> Either way, my Salamence got obliterated from that corkscrew crash from Delmise. From here I can send in Seraphina. The reason why I'm sending in my Seraphina right now is because now that he's used his Z-move, now I'm sure there is nothing that this Delmise can do to threaten me. So I'm gonna be like, okay, Serena is defensive. I'm gonna use Aromatherapy and get that poison off my Tapu Lele. Gyro Ball is really not doing too much because, again, Serena is a very, very good Pokemon. Like, has high attack, a very good natural bulk. So when you invest in the bulk, give that and plus Trop Kick as a signature move. Guarantee to do a nice amount of damage and lower the attack. Because Trop Kick has like the same base power as like Seed Bomb or Leaf Blade. So it's a very, very strong physical grass like move. Plus constantly lowering your physical your opponent's physical attack attack. It's so it, like, it's so good for a bulky Pokemon. I, I typically don't like clerics, but Serena might be the one Pokemon I like to use as a cleric. So I can just keep on chop kicking right now. It's going to keep on lowering this Delmise's attack. He's even Delmise in his death bar because he doesn't really have a Pokemon he wants to comfortably switch into the Trop Kicks. He can definitely send it in Salazzle, but the thing is, if he sends in Salazzle, it's going to take 25% from Stealth Rocks plus the Chop Kick. So he doesn't really want to take that 30% damage. And from him just spamming Gyro Ball, I'm pretty sure this Delmise does not have Rapid Spin. I feel pretty dang safe. The switch in my Glycopod from right now. He's gonna use Shadow Claw. Minus two Glycopod's natural bulk. Eat that shit up, Glycopod. And we're just gonna use Leech Life because I do outspeed him surprisingly enough. I don't even need to use Fresh Impression. I want to use Leech Life just to just get the tiniest bit of HP back possible because you never know when a little bit of HP could matter in saving your Pokemon's life. So we're gonna use Leech Light, outspeed, take him out. Delmise is gone, the demise of Delmise. He's gonna send in his own Glycopod right now. Takes Stealth Rocks damage 25%, he does not have very much left at all. So I'm gonna switch out Glycopod to sack off my Serena. So I'm like, I don't need Serena anymore. He can use First Impression all he wants, that's fine. I forgot that Serfira, Serafina Serena, Seraphina, Serena, Seraphina. She got Queenly Majesty, a new ability that blocks priority moves. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna try to flex and say I predicted that. So I really didn't. I tried to uh, fire my Serena off, and my Serena was like, "You don't need to fire me off. I am good. I'm going to take out this Glycopod. Queenly Majesty coming into play, blocking first impression because that ability blocks any priority move. So extreme speed, Talon Flame, that match HP, Brave Birds." Anything that has priority is getting blocked. That first impression, blocked. Fake out, blocked. Brave Bird from Talonflame, blocked. Uh, I love, I love Seraphina after this battle. So either way, I'm going to harvest this from the John Land turn because I don't really have my, my um, Glass Pot to switch in as much anymore. I definitely could, but he's not going to take the two Sludge Bombs. As John Lantern eats it up, but also unfortunately gets that poison. So, I mean, that sucks, but John Lantern's doing what John Lantern does. Is he's gonna stay in with use the sludge bomb? He wants to get as much damage on John Lantern as he can. John Lantern, hang it in there. John Lantern, 66 HP, using Skull, the Harm Queen. She falls. There ain't no harms for you, baby. No Salandi don't want you. <laughs> oh, I freaking love Sun and Moon Wi-Fi Bowser. They're so good. He's gonna be able to send in Magenta. He got Absol. Poison Stones are going to dig into it because, unfortunately, those stones are on his side of the field to stay. John Lantern did his job. I'm going to sack John Lantern off right now because there's no real point. doesn't do anything else for the battle. So, unfortunately, John Lantern does fade to that x -Scissor. But from here, I can send him my Tapu-Lulu. Tapu-Lulu. 
Tapu Lulu, Psychic Terrain, I am Choice Scarf, I will outspeed this Mega Absol. His only other Pokemon is his own Tapu Lele, and Tapu Lele's don't like taking other Tapu Lele's Moon Blast, so he's gonna have to fodder off rather this thing or his Tapu Lele, so he chooses to fodder off his Mega Absol. At this point, not knowing that it was actually Scarf, because he had no idea to know that I was Scarf at this point, match. Last Pokemon. Ibuki, the Tapu Lele comes out. I have three Pokemon left. He has one, but the match is not over yet. I'm gonna send in Glycepod. So I figured if I send in Glycepod right now, I can scout to see if he scarfed or specs or life orb. If he takes life orb recoil, that is perfect. I can whittle him down as much as possible. Glycepod does survive. He's not life orb. He switches up moves to Thunderbolt, so he's not scarfed and he's not specs. He actually reveals after the game that he was running two Z crystals. One on his Delmise and one on Tapu Lele, I guess essentially depending on what he needs for the team. So unfortunately this Tapu Lele is essentially not holding an item at all at the moment for him, which is pretty bad. Seraphina gonna take the Tapu Lele, timid in the Psychic Terrain Psychic, use Chop Kick, do all the damage I need to have Serena do. Get Leftovers Recoil, uh, not Leftovers Recoil, you don't die from Leftovers. Get Leftovers Recovery. But and unfortunately, it really doesn't matter because Serena only has a couple of HP left. 19 is not going to save you from a Tapu Lele, and it's like a Terrain Sidekick. So Serena did a lot of work. I'm definitely happy with this Pokemon. I want to use it some more because it definitely helped me out a lot in this game. So now it's 1-1. One, one, Tapu Lele versus Tapu Lele. My one is Scarf. His one doesn't have an item essentially because it's holding the Psychic MZ or a different Z crystal. I'm assuming Psychic MZ. So I'm going to be able to outspeak since I am Scarf. Modest Scarf Shadow Ball. It's gonna easily gonna take out the opposing Tapu Lele, and that is going to be good game, Sassy JoJo. So if you guys enjoyed this Wi-Fi battle as much as as half as much as I did, so I had a blast in this Wi-Fi battle and felt that I definitely need to bring this Wi-Fi battle to the channel to show you guys such a good freaking game using Pokemon like Lantern, using Pokemon like Lead Lycanroc. Serena, these are new Pokemon. Well, Lantern's not a new Pokemon, but you never see the Lantern in a Wi-Fi battle, especially not in like a top tier OU Wi-Fi battle. So, either way, like, comment, subscribe if you wish. There will be more Wi-Fi battles coming to the channel shortly. Just had to get those Wi-Fi battles pumping out. We're gonna have all these battles coming out to the channel. Kero Kero Studio. I hope you guys have a good day. Let's hope to hit five likes for the next battle. I'm out.